Like, I love this game. It's getting amazing. There we go. Hey guys, me on Touch, and I'm going to talk about, well, Persona 5. The newest game I bought and I just beat, well, today. Sorry, this game took, sorry, this game took forever to, to, to review, but I'm, I'm reviewing it now, damn it, and I love this game. This game I made my, my all of favorite game this entire year. And for Fighter 4 you watching this, um, thank you for re recommending this game. Here we go. What the big part of Persona 5? Well, Persona 5 is a game about the eternal and external combat of a group of troubled high school students, the protagonist and cr collection of compatriots he meets against those who like with dual life and fan beefs. Um, they, they have the typical ordinary day to day, to day of a Tokyo high school attending class after school taking a part time job, but they also undertake fantastic adventures by using other world pow powers to enter the hearts of people. Their power comes from, the, from their persona. What the persona? Um, the Jungian concept itself, the game tells real that, that society forces people to wear masks to protect their inner vulnerabilities. By literally ripping off their protective mask and confronting their inner selves to the hill awaken their, their inner, inner power and use it to help those in need. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the group of Phantom Thieves seeks to change the day-to-day -day -day world to match the perception seek to the mask monster that he wears. That's a big part in a nutshell. But you can learn your high school students trying to figure out what's going on with society and your fan feed. That's what you want to say. Okay, the point in this game, as you well know, I'm not a huge Persona fan. I never played Persona 1, I never played Persona 2, never played Persona 3, or Persona 4. So, going into this game, this is actually what something new and fresh to me because I never got in into the Persona franchise until. Recently, so today, so this year, and what's my thought on this game? I love this game. This game was like, holy shit! Like, this game went the dark to the dinosaurs. We get, what kind of character? What kind of our main character? Well, he's more than Mew Archie, but he does speak, you know, in the cutscene, and the cutscene I mean, are gorgeous. Like, they're so great to the animation that it really reminds me of playing anime. Like, this game, I mean, it's so amazing that it, uh, the graphics are amazing, associated with cool, like the story amazing, like all the characters are great, like, what's that character, what's that about the, um, like, uh, Rita? He's great, um, or you see that Skull's great, um, Futaba's great, Morgana's great, like, all the characters are perfect, because all the characters are all three-dimensional, and all, all the great personalities, and put, they're all great characters. I love them so much because all of them have great complex stories. Like, Yusuke is pretty cool with the whole bit of fox. So, like, all the characters are great. Um, what the hell? I'd put the main story itself. The main story bit ends because, it, as I said, this, this game does go into like, really, really dark stuff. What do you mean? It? Well, what to say? It talks about abusive friendships. Psychotic breakdowns. Um, it's very really dark, but there's also hope in this game, which is light, which is pretty cool. I just say all the characters are great. The story amazing. The characters great. Wait, what's up? What's up? Wait, did they even talk about the characters? Wait, and story right? Um, speaking, what's up with game? If I said gameplay is all perfect. Like, I I love Terminator. RPG. I love to, I love Terminator RPG like, like Final Fantasy X was it used to be and this game that's the point, right? The game is game really perfect because all your your turn at the matter, all your actions matter, and well unlike some other traditional RPGs or JRPGs, you want more specific, this game is more actually more a strategy. It's a right like, because you need to find any weakness. Like the combat itself is really perfect and without getting too much spoilery, um what does that know if you're a big RPG fan like me? Who love the RPG? Um, you love this game. Um, I'm gonna talk about. Speaking of with no idea, what's up with the the um the cat the castle we said the dungeons. Okay, as I said before, I never play any, any other perso any other pre persona games. So I don't I can't compare the dungeons to that to those games to this game. But I have to say the dungeons in this game are very very complex. 
What do you mean by that? Oh, the power seed. When you're in the power, you have to find your way to treasure. I know so the aspect is really cool because you're being able to infiltrate the cognitive world and it does get really quite really interesting. Especially with the whole um drawing of voice shadows like your enemy basically. Oh, by the way, this game does have stealth gameplay, it's pretty cool. I like that. Like right, you don't you don't you don't have to go by like, gun blading, you, you can just barely stick pack enemies and well you can actually try to level up. Speak out to the man now, what's that big like few personas? I know the few, the few aspects of this group, but basically you know, you, you, you choose two of your persona and you get a more power persona. Like, that's a very cool idea, and I love it that I that would do that. Oh! Um, how can you, what the hell, I'm going to spoil this. Uh. Oh, I know. Um, what's up with your antagonist? I can't really tell you who the main character is, because the main character is a mystery, and the mystery itself in the main plot is very interesting because it does deal with what like, society as a whole. And what to say? There's a twist and turn I not see coming, and I and I love it. Like this game, it's so un unpredictable. That's awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about. I think that's better. Get some spoilers. So, argument rating. Um, okay. With that said, now, do I recommend buying Persona 5? Yes. If you're a Persona fan or basically a new to the fan I say buy this game. Because, because um, if you're not playing any, any Persona game before, I think it's a great jumping on point. Um, to go up the for you for a minute, this game is one of the best games that came out this year and I agree 100%. And I love this game. Like, all the characters are great, the story great, the graphics are great, everything perfect. There are no problem whatsoever. Anywho, I'll give my rating. I give Persona 5, um, drummer please, a 5 out of 5. Perfection, A+. Plus. If you're a Persona fan, buy this game. If you're a JRPG fan, buy this game. Oh, also, one more thing. That's when you get plus, and then when you beat the game, and that's pretty cool. So, if you make a side quest, you, you, you get new game plus. Which I'm probably gonna do at the like probably like like me me later tonight. Actually, there's one more thing to do with our um, live stream. Like apparently, Atlas doesn't want really to live stream, which is kind of negative. But that's I get why they they don't want you to live stream because they want to avoid spoilers. But come on, Atlas, you can at least you want to live stream this game on Twitch. Yeah, that's a little sign of another day. Anyways, um, that's my view of Persona 5, spoiler free if possible, um, please comment more to you know about the amazing game. Do you like it? Do you it? Also, who, who's your all different character uh, in this game? Me personally, I have all the characters, um, please comment more, also, okay, please be, follow me on Twitter, and please um, subscribe my channel. Touch button, peace out. Spike says bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Persona. Bye.